Would you like to learn the difference between a cloud architect, a sysops engineer, and a DevOps engineer? Well, if so, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Michael Gibbs, and I'm the founder and CEO of Go Cloud Architects, and we're an organization dedicated towards building high-performance cloud computing careers. I've been working in technology for 25 years now, and I've been coaching and mentoring others for nearly two decades. Today, we're going to talk about the differences between cloud architects, sysops, and DevOps. And the reason we're going to do this is people come to me to learn how to find their first cloud architect job, which is something we love to do. But then when people see job descriptions, they just don't know where to start. So I wanna kind of clarify these things so you can learn how to get your first cloud architect job or your first sysop job or your first DevOps job so you can have a career that's gonna make you very happy. Now, the reason this is so important and the reason we're talking about this is I often look at cloud architect jobs when they're posted. And when I look at these jobs, I can't figure out what they are because these jobs are part cloud architect, and then they're looking for a full cloud engineer, and then they're looking for full sysops, and then they're looking for full DevOps. Now, last week we talked about the difference between a cloud architect and a cloud engineer, and now we're gonna try and clarify some of the other cloud computing careers. Today, we're gonna to start with the cloud architect, and the cloud architect is a cross between an engineer and a business executive. The job of a cloud architect is quite simply to know all of the systems that make the cloud possible, which realistically speaking, are the network and the data center that have been virtualized. So the cloud architect is gonna be a customer facing position. It's gonna be a position where you're gonna meet with an executive at the client, you're gonna ask their business, legal, and their technical challenges, regulatory requirements, and their goals. And from there, you're gonna find a technology solution that's gonna meet the client's needs, that's gonna improve their business efficiency, enhance their profitability, reduce their costs, give them competitiveness in a new service. A cloud architect is someone that designs. They design solutions in the cloud. And a cloud architect may be migrating someone from the data center to the cloud if it's an existing environment. A cloud architect may be designing a hybrid solution where basically you have the data center attached to the cloud and a cloud architect could be designing a multi-cloud solution. See, the cloud architect is a design position. Just like an architect designs a building, but they don't actually build the building, a cloud architect does the same thing. They design the systems, but they don't actually build them. And that's very, very important because if you're training on how to configure the systems and you wanna work as a cloud architect, your training is in the wrong direction. Likewise, if you wanna be doing automation resources and you're training to be a cloud architect, you're gonna have a hard time finding a job because it's a completely different skill set. So we talked about the cloud architect being a design position, someone designs systems to meet a client's business, legal, and technical requirement. Now let's talk about sysops. So what is sysops? Sysops is really an operations role. See, we previously had roles like systems administrator. Well, that's now sysops. So sysops are, are people that try to automate or make the systems that the cloud architects actually design run and run very efficiently. So what do sysops people do? Sysops people will monitor the health and utilization of your resources in the cloud. Your sysops people are gonna do backups. Your sysops people are gonna do some automation. Things like cloud formation templates, Terraform. They might be doing some scripting with Python. Sysops professionals might do some resource tagging, for example, to help identify costs and they're gonna manage resources like your VPC, your EC2 instances, and your sysops people are gonna work with other teams like networking and security. So let's talk about how we separated this. The cloud architect designs, the sysops people maintain. Now let's talk about DevOps, because again, it's a different profession. And DevOps is gonna be a combination of both development and operations that are kind of married together. You see, DevOps professionals, they oversee code releases and they also manage the deployment process. And see what's going on here is if you've got the development side and an operation side and you marry them together, what you get is a very, very agile and a very fast and a very solid software development release cycle. So DevOps is really just the coordination between the development and the operations team. And that's where they're getting this term DevOps operations. So when you think of DevOps, Think of something that's gonna accelerate the software development release cycle because you've coordinated the development team and the operations team. And then think of DevOps people as those that actually use DevOps tools. 
What are some of these DevOps type tools that you think about? There are things like Git, there are things like Jenkins, there are things like Chef. So when you're thinking about AWS jobs, or you're thinking about SysOps careers, and you're thinking about SysOps associate versus an AWS certified solution architect professional, or anything in your cloud career, make sure you understand exactly what the job is. So when people come to me and they say, how do I get my first cloud job? Or how do I get my first cloud architect job? I say it's very important to know exactly what it is that the job that you desire and focus your time, your effort, your training, and everything you can towards achieving that goal. So now you know the difference between a cloud architect, sysops, and DevOps. Let's talk about some things that we do to assist the cloud architect community. Every Monday and every Thursday, we have a free how to get your first cloud architect job webinar. And on these webinars, we teach you what you need to know to get hired. For example, we talk about the level of competency that's required to get your first cloud architect job. We talk about what employers desire. We talk about things to do to your resume to make sure you can get hired to get that first cloud architect job. And we talk about things like soft skills, emotional intelligence, anything that we can to give you some bonus points along the way to help you get your first cloud architect job. And we do that for free on every Monday and every Thursday. Now on every Tuesday, we have a cloud architect experience webinar. And on this webinar, what we do is we actually talk to you about what it takes to get real hands-on experience, the kind of experience that employers desire to help you get your first cloud architect job. See, we know that certification is not enough. Certification training is wonderful. It teaches you the name of services and how to configure them. But as we've talked about, a cloud architect is a design role, meeting with the client, learning the requirements, and then figuring out what to do. So in the Cloud Architect Experience webinar, we talk about how to get that kind of experience, how to learn how all the systems work, so you can be functional as a cloud architect. Many Wednesdays, but not all, but when we have time, we do it. On Wednesdays, we often do a question and answer session where you can bring us any questions related to your cloud computing career or a cloud architect career or your tech career in general. And we will answer your questions in real time. And we do this very frequently, every, almost every Wednesday. Please uh, subscribe to our channel. And from there, you'll be notified, especially if you hit the bell, of all of our YouTube live streams. If you're in the process of getting certified, we have a completely free certification package. We have a free AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate Training Program. I'll leave the link in the description below. We have a free AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate eBook, again, to help with your certification journey. And it's free, I'll leave the link in the description below. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. I take it as an extreme honor and a privilege to be able to communicate with the Cloud Architect community as often as we do with YouTube, and we love to speak with you. Thank you so much, and I look forward to speaking to you in another video very soon.